What's up everyone? Today we're going to do another installment in the Can It Design Challenges. And today's challenge comes from Muzjube who asks, Try to mix the animations provided in Keynote to enhance LumaFusion animations. This is a great challenge and I'm pretty excited to try it out because we always feel a little bit limited in LumaFusion currently, although it is very powerful and there is a lot that it can do, there's also a lot that it can't do. So we're going to take a look in Keynote on the iPad and see what it can do with its animations and if we can bring those in some way into LumaFusion. So I haven't done this before, this is me learning along with you. We're going to go take a look at it, we're going to hop into Keynote right now and see what we can do as far as getting animations from Keynote into LumaFusion to see if we can design more advanced animations for our videos with a combination of those two. So let's dive in and see. We're gonna open up Keynote here. I haven't really used Keynote on the iPad, so there might be some intro stuff here. Just wanna create a presentation. Yeah, I used to use Keynote a lot on the Mac back in the day, but then I needed some things in PowerPoint that PowerPoint could do better than Keynote, and I basically switched to PowerPoint entirely. So we're going to be learning a little bit more about Keynote here as we go. I just want a blank presentation, basic white. Okay, there we go. And apparently if you use the Apple Pencil in Keynote, then it draws. I don't really want that, I just wanted to select. There's an undo. Just wanna get rid of the junk on the slide. Okay, so get out of annotation. And now we will jump along and we'll delete these things here. So we don't need any of that. And so let's see what we can animate here. Click the plus because I think that's how we would add something. Let's try and get a shape. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a rounded rectangle and we're going to try and do a subscribe animation. So what I want is for this ball to come in, bounce, and then become a subscribe button. And so there's two keys to this. First, we have to be able to do it in Keynote. That's the first part of can it design, can it design an animation, and then can we get it into LumaFusion where we're actually making videos. So let's tap on this again and see if we can find, I always forget how it works here. Okay, here, the format. Brush, be on that, and then format, and fill. Okay, so we can make it red. The text, the arrangement, I need to be able to do the, oops. I guess I shouldn't use the Apple Pencil for tapping on things here because that just seems to confuse it. Animate, okay, so tap on it, choose animate. Okay, so we're gonna add a build in. Probably wanna fly in. Okay, and then we tap here, I guess, and we can Change it, so from left, I want it from top. Preview it. Okay, not bad. Okay, that's for text. Okay, let's add an action. I want it to bounce. fly in and bounce. So we'll fly in, oops. Bounce, okay, so we need it to bounce. Three bounces after build one. Delay zero seconds, we want it to happen, we want it to fly in, and then we want it to bounce. And so that's what we're going to try and have it do here. So let's try this. Tap, fly and bounce. It's not perfect, but it's simpler than making it in LumaFusion, that's for sure. It looks like we get the options to do a build in, an action, and a build out. It doesn't look like we get any other options as far as like adding multiple things. Like we can't have it bounce more than once. Maybe we can. Oh, we can. Okay, so let's just see what that would look like here. Okay. 
I don't really want that, but I just wanted to see what we could do there. So we'll delete that. Tap done here. What we want then is for this to become a, for it to become a button, a subscribe button. So we need to make another shape, I guess, rounded. Format that to be red. Then we need to make that animated. Let's tap on it. Animate and build in. Looking for some kind of grow animation. Maybe a pop. No. we want that circle to just grow out into the subscribe button. Nope, that's not it. Okay, we might need, okay, we'll delete that. done okay let's delete that we're actually going to make a new blank slide and then we're going to add this guy we want it to be exactly in the center so that we know where it is and that it's right where we need it to be and then I think we might be able to do a transition. We might be able to do a transition that's a morph. So that's what we're gonna look for here. A morph transition will essentially take what's on the first one and turn it into what's on the second one, which would probably be the easiest way for us to do this. Doesn't look like there's a morph. And it looks like the transition has to be placed on the slide ahead. So it's the transition out. Let's try this. Oh, there it is. It's called magic move. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now I'll try it again. Oh, perfect. That's great, that is excellent. So then we just need to add in some text that says subscribe. So let's do add and text. Oh, right there, <laughs> it's right in front of me. Well, we'll see how this transition looks. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so now I think we've got the animation the way we want it. And now there's something we need to do to get this into LumaFusion so that we can combine it with our videos. And I think the first thing is going to be to find out a way to export it as video. The second thing, or maybe this is the first thing, might be to make these slides backgrounds green so that they're easy to key out. Let's actually try that. So, new format, background, color. What we want is just the most standard green that we can. Format, background, color, all right, now we want to see if we can export this as a video so that we can then pull that video into LumaFusion because the slides themselves won't do us any good. So we need to find a export option. Export as movie, 1080p to 1080p or 4K, 1080s fine for us. Slide range all, go to the next slide. Okay, timings apply only to tap events. 
So we want to go to the next slide after zero seconds, I think, and go to the next build after zero seconds. We're just going to see what this does. And now we just need to go open this up and see what it looks like. Not bad. Okay, so now we need to see if we can bring that into Luma Fusion and key out the background, and then we can put that on whatever we want. Okay, here in Luma Fusion, let's actually bump out of here. You can see that we've been working on some of this already in Luma Fusion, but it might be a little bit easier for people, especially if you are new to keyframing or anything like that, it might be a little bit easier for you to just do this in Keynote. So let's try making a new project. We're just going to grab that and drag it in. I will play through it. Nice, okay, so now let's just go ahead and we'll try and key this out. Go to effects and key, green screen key. We're just adjusting these sliders just to see where we get the best key from. Don't want to lose the words. Okay, so I think what we need to do is drop that over something. Just going to pull in some random footage here. We'll drop this over the top and just see how it looks. And for some reason, it's quite green coming in there. And I'm not sure at all why that would be. The ball must fade in as part of that effect, and so that it comes in green. We're definitely getting some haloing. So the answer is, it's not perfect. And there could be some things I could do to tweak it. Definitely, I could probably find a better color of green in Keynote to bring that in and make it more clear and contrasty. And there's probably some things I need to know about the way that the animations work with that fade in and stuff. So the answer is, this is not a perfect solution to getting more animations into LumaFusion, but it is viable. You can create an animation in Keynote, you can export it as a video, then you can bring it into LumaFusion. If you use green, you can key that out, or you could use some other color, I'm sure. I didn't want to use white because my text was white. I didn't want that to disappear. So maybe green or blue or something. But the question to can it design animations is yes. You can design animations in Keynote on an iPad, bring those into an editor like LumaFusion and use them in that process. So you can use those two together to create new animations. Remember, this is part of the series that we're doing on Can It Design, but I need your questions, your comments, and your suggestions to make this work. So if you have an idea for a program that you'd like to see if it can design, or a challenge to try in different programs, then go ahead, drop in the comments, and let me know what you'd like to see so that we can do that in a future video. And again, a big thanks to Mezjube for making this suggestion, and a big thanks to you for watching this video. We'll chat in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.